Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do an unboxing of The American Civil War by Worthington Publishing. This is part of their Hold the Line series, and it's an ambitious take on many, many battles uh, of the American Civil War. So let's crack it open, see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. So this is a block game, and uh, however, while it says it's designed for two players, it can be played solitaire. So that's going to be very interesting to uh, see how that works. I have not played much uh, in the Hold the Line series, so I'm looking forward to this one as a uh, go-to Civil War game. So the first thing I see is we get lots of blocks. So we have a bag of blue wooden blocks and a bag of gray wooden blocks. Now I'm going to go out on a limb here and say these are probably for the Confederates and these are probably for the Union. Wouldn't be too much of a stretch. Then you get a sealed pack here of dice. There are four six -sided, traditional six-sided dice and one with color blocks on it. They do work. And the color block. So we have two black, two green. No, let's see, three, four green. One, two, three. Three green, <laughs> two black, and one yellow. We'll see more about what that is for in here. All right, now we've got the rule book. And it's a very thin rule book. It comes in at eight pages. Nice artwork on the cover. So the art and layout is by Sean Cook. I'm not sure if he did the, the original art, but if he did, that's really nice. All right, so it is a full color, large print. Uh, kind of describes, describes the terrain types right off the bat. And the different unit types. And the game setup the sequence pretty straightforward right into the rules and then from that we go into uh, the scenario book so each uh, each of the scenarios is in this one book so you start out with the uh, first bull run and then you're gonna get the Battle of Shiloh Cross Keys Port Republic and it looks like they set them up in uh, sequential order chronological order so that you can play them in order so Antietam Chancellorsville Champion Hill Gettysburg and Little Round Top Chickamauga Missionary Ridge some of these are have a special meaning for me because these are some of these battlefields are very near to where I live including uh, the last one here Wilderness Assault on Petersburg and Kennesaw Mountain is very close to me. So, pretty cool. So it looks like it uh, is kind of reminiscent of the, the commands and colors in the sense that you start out with a kind of a plain board and you add terrain to it. We'll see, probably see some of that here shortly. So there's your scenario book. So what did we get? We got two 12 scenarios. And then we've got two unit information player reference cards. Now these are interesting in that they're identical. They are single-sided. They're identical and there is, uh, each, each side has a game track, it would seem, or uh, you just track on one and then the other one's just a reference. But, all right, so lots of blocks. So with lots of blocks, you need lots of stickers. And here are the Confederate stickers units and these are very nice stickers they've got a nice uh, they feel like very good uh, label material that they're not going to tear very easily so we have confederate unions front confederate unions back and then union extra confederate extra union ships blocks and some game markers so you'll be doing some stickering 
to play, but I like that they have front and back stickers. And it appears that they've got them designed so that the, uh, no, no, they don't, I guess. Let's see. Nope. So they won't be all facing the same way. So they're just an extra set for front and back. So you will need to, uh, you know, position, but there's no hidden information, which is nice. So you got front and back. And then you've got some that have the flag for the CSA and some that have the flag for the USA, probably denoting leaders. That's my guess. We will see. And then we've got some cardboard. So we've got a game board and then two sheets, let's see, two, three sheets of punch board for various uh, terrain. We've got some fortifications, we've got woods, we've got lakes, uh, we've got towns. Flip to the other side, you've got bridges, rivers, more towns. I like the muted color palette here, two of them. They're not like just really bright trees, so on and so forth. Kind of a nice pastel, light pastel, washed out color. So some thinner, oop, thinner forest. They pop out very easily. So it looks like there's 12 tiles per sheet and three sheets. You got 36 tiles, double-sided, 72 uh, various uh, terrain modifiers. And then you've got a game board. Let me get it out of the box here. Looks like it's about a foot square and it's four panels. So there's not much to see to open up. Well, let's see, we'll just kind of take a quick gander here. It's, um, no, it's six panels. So it'll be about three, two by three board. So that's nice. So it's basically just a big blank canvas. This is American Civil War in the center. And you'll put your terrain tiles on top of that. So if you pick up a copy of American Civil War by Worthington Publishing, you are going to get that. Uh, roughly two foot by three foot game board. You're going to get three sheets of terrain tiles. You're going to get three sheets of stickers for your blocks, two player reference aids, single sided, a 12 page scenario book with 12 scenarios, a eight page series rule book, four dice, plus a color-coded die, a bag o gray blocks, a bag o blue box blocks, and the box that it all comes in. And that is everything for you to fight 12 battles of the American Civil War. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.